Hey everyone, we're going to talk a little bit about how to, you know, build strong relationships when you're going through OCD recovery. Obviously, we have my wife here, Erica, uh, and myself. Erica's been on the channel a few times. She makes really good content for friends and family members. We're sitting at a charging station right now because Erica has an electric car before we go out to the mountains, and we'll do another video up there. We're going to keep, keep this one a little bit short. I'm going to ask Erica three important questions and get her opinion on them. Uh, so Erica, what was the number one thing you had to realize if you wanted this relationship to work when I was suffering from your perspective? Three things. One thing Four for things. this. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that I needed to be on your team and put aside the things that I wanted temporarily um, to prioritize your recovery first. And if you weren't willing to do that, then I needed to, that's when I needed to make a different decision. And how long, in the time, there's no timeline here. How long did, it, did that take you, the reality? How long did it, did it really, before you were about to leave? Almost a year. <laughs> a year. So I think this is important to cover because we think that we're going to have these solutions really quickly. And as Erica just said, this is a, it can be an arduous process, but it could be very, very well worth it, which, which I thought was really good. And second question I want to ask you, Erica, I know we've talked about this a couple times. So this is specifically for friends and family members. How important is it to educate yourself on OCD? Very, so that you can recognize like how you're being helpful and how you're not being helpful. Um, I would say that it's, if you want to help somebody, it's probably the most important thing that you can do. And what were, what was a couple of the things that you had to realize, like for yourself? So about, was it more learning about reassurance, learning about when to just let me just kind of rant when I was in a super bad mood and you just kind of sat there and smiled? Like what were the things that you changed the most about the way you reacted to my OCD? Well, after I learned what, that you were looking for reassurance in different ways, um, learning not to give it to you and what was the question? How I changed? Yeah. What did you, what, what was the number one thing you had to change in order to My help? My reactivity too. Like not getting, not going down the rabbit hole with you was definitely one of That's them. a, that's a really big one. Um, and for the third question for this little short YouTube video is what did you have to do for yourself? We have covered this. What is the most important thing you could do for yourself? for when, when you know, you're living with a loved one or it's a mom or a dad and they're really suffering? You do have to prioritize your own care first, I would say. Um, it's hard sometimes, because I mean, I use the example all the time that I was finally going to the gym and then you were texting me asking where I had the medications and I came home to you counting pills. So in situations like that, it does make it hard, but when you can prioritize your care and you're able to, then you need to. Yeah. Um, whether you're going to the gym and exercising, whether you're taking a nap, or whether you're going to your own therapist or whatever it looks like, then making sure that you prioritize that. Awesome. Yeah, no, I'm, and I think that was really, like I said, we're going to do another video up in the mountains a little bit more, but I wanted to kind of start making these like short, you know, videos that you could listen to maybe when you're driving or really quick for, for friends and family, because there's not, unfortunately, there's not a lot of information out there for friends and family um, and the perspective about learning. Uh, so thank you so much, guys. Again, if you want to learn more about um, where we get this information from, the Ellis Principles, the books on the reading list, OCDrecovery.com. I realize you can only see half my face right now, uh, primarily Erica. Uh, and then if you go to our playlist and you see friends and family. So thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.